me too. We're happy to be here at Butterfly World and happy to meet a butterfly expert. What's your official title? So you could call me a lepidopterist. What is that title again? A lepidopterist. That's somebody who studies butterflies. And what is your job here? Teaching people how to attract butterflies to their garden and what tools you need in order to attract those butterflies. I would come here pretty often as a guest and one day I saw that they had the now hiring sign and I thought what a perfect place to work. I take my, my love for butterflies and my love for teaching people about the environment. That's terrific. <laughs> so now you get to teach what you love. And why are butterflies so important to our ecosystem? Well they're pollinators and they also serve as food for other bigger animals. If we wanted to grow our own butterfly garden, what exactly do we need? So two components, you need host plants and you need nectar plants. So the host plants are going to serve as food for your caterpillars, that's where the female butterfly is going to lay her eggs. And you also need nectar plants, this is going to serve as food for your adult butterfly. Wow, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Let's meet the Kid Vision kids and teach them about butterflies and how to make a butterfly garden. Sounds great, let's go. Yeah. the lab with the children and let's learn about the life cycle of a butterfly. Sure thing. So the life cycle of the butterfly it has four stages. Everybody put four fingers up. So stage number one is going to be the egg. Can you all say egg? Egg. egg. Can you all say caterpillar for stage number two? Caterpillar. caterpillar. Then chrysalis. 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 Then finally the butterfly. 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 Very good. Do you guys want to meet a caterpillar? Yes. yes. Okay. So over here, I have an idea caterpillar. Idea caterpillars are native to Asia. Native just means that their home is in. Now, usually when we go into our backyards and we see a caterpillar with spikes, are we gonna touch it? No. Sometimes caterpillars... Leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Sometimes caterpillars with spikes may be poisonous, but I know that my friend Pat, this is Pat, by the way, my friend Pat over here, he's not poisonous to the touch. Would you guys like to pet my friend Pat? Yeah. Okay, very softly. You can say this is the baby version of the butterfly. Aww, he feels soft. squishy. Very good. Yeah. He feels squishy. Oh, he does. He feels soft. He's very soft. So this is stage number two of the butterfly's life cycle, the caterpillar. You can call this the caterpillar or the larva. Can you guys say larva? Larva. Very good. So underneath this lid over here are all butterfly chrysalises. So you can see one caterpillar, he's all big and fat and chubby. Now he's getting ready to shed his last skin, and then underneath that last skin will be the chrysalis or the pupa. How do they hold on? So the way they stick themselves to a leaf, a plant, or a lid like I have here is a little piece of white sticky sticky silk that they use to glue themselves to the top of wherever they think is going to be a safe place to go into their chrysalis or pupa. So all of these butterfly chrysalises, they're going to turn into butterflies within a couple weeks, maybe a couple months, depending on the kind of butterfly it is. And when the butterfly is ready to come out, the first thing that butterfly has to do is dry his or her butterfly wings. So once it's ready to come out, they'll release a little bit of butterfly blood called meconium. And then once he starts to fly around in this little container, he's ready to go. What does metamorphosis mean? So metamorphosis is just a big word for change. That caterpillar, he changed from a little larva, a little caterpillar, to a butterfly. Now he's an insect. He went through a complete transformation. Are you guys ready to meet my butterfly friends? Yes! yes. All right, let's go meet them. to learn about the parts of a butterfly. So do you guys remember in the lab when we met Pat the caterpillar? Yeah. Yes. Do you guys think that Pat's big brother or sister is going to be yellow, pink, or blue? Blue? Okay. Pink. Pink? Pink? How about yellow, white, and black? Yeah. So this is Pat's big sister. This is what Pat the caterpillar is going to turn into. This is wow. an idea butterfly. That's very cool. So all butterflies have three main body parts. They have a head, everybody point at your head. They've got a thorax right over here. The thorax on a butterfly controls their muscle and body movements, like their four wings. Can you flap your four butterfly wings? The thorax also controls their six butterfly legs. Can you stomp your six butterfly legs? 
<laughs> After the thorax, they have an abdomen. Can everybody say abdomen? Abdomen. So the abdomen is like their is like their belly. Very good. Inside their abdomen, they store their eggs and their nectar. So boys and girls, can you guys stomp your feet again? Can any of you boys and girls taste the floor with your toes right now? No. Yeah. Are you a butterfly? So butterflies, they use their six legs for tasting. Have you guys ever had a butterfly kiss before? That's Very awesome. good. So sweet. Very good. Yeah. Do you guys want to know how to get butterflies in your backyard like we have here at Butterfly World? Sure. <laughs> a host plant is basically a butterfly's favorite plant. Every kind of butterfly has a different host plant, a different favorite plant. Do you guys know about the monarch butterfly? No. Her favorite plant is called milkweed. Everybody say milkweed. Milkweed. Very good. So the monarch is only going to lay her eggs on milkweed because that is the only plant her little caterpillars will eat. They won't eat your roses, they won't eat your daisies or your sunflowers, just milkweed. Would you like to plant a butterfly garden? Yes! Can we do that? Definitely. Let's go plant a butterfly garden. Let's do it. How do you plant a butterfly garden? To plant a butterfly garden, you need two things. You need a host plant and you need nectar plants. Your host plants are going to be food for your caterpillars. Your nectar plants are going to be food for your adult butterfly. Over here to our left, we have kunti. Boys and girls, you can touch this plant. This is the food plant for the Atala butterfly. The Atala butterfly is a really beautiful little black and blue and red butterfly. She's so pretty and she's only going to lay her eggs on this one plant. Now what happens if we don't have this plant? There's no eggs. No eggs, no Atala butterfly. So if we get rid of this plant, this plant no longer exists, then that butterfly no longer exists. So that's why it's so important to plant host plants or food plants so that we can promote the survival of the butterflies. And then what do the butterflies eat? So the butterflies, they're going to sip nectar. The butterflies no longer have a mouth. Now they have a straw-like tongue called a proboscis that they use to sip nectar. And they're going to sip nectar from flowers such as this flower over here. This is sweet almond. This is a wonderful nectar plant. The butterflies love this kind of flower. They also love Porter weed. Oh, that's so pretty. This is a beautiful flowering plant, and the butterflies will sip the nectar off of this flowering plant. Now, when you're building your butterfly garden, you want to make sure you have flowers of all sorts of shapes and all sorts of sizes to make sure you can accommodate for a bunch of different kinds of butterflies. Your host plant, that's going to be the main magnet. That's really what's going to draw your butterflies to your garden to lay those eggs. Caterpillars will only feast off of this plant. Butterflies, they'll go to just about any flower, preferably wild native flowers. So, so you need two types of plants to plant a butterfly garden. A host plant yep. for the caterpillars yes. and a nectar plant for the butterflies. Excellent. Perfect. I think we should get planting. Yeah, let's get planting. You guys want to plant? plant? Yeah. All right, we're just going to start making our hole so we can put this plant in here. So as I see it, you push down. We push down and then up, making yeah. sure we get some dirt out. Oh, look at that. Wow. Do you want to try it? Yeah. and showing us how to grow a butterfly garden. Thank you for coming. It was great. Thank, Thank you, guys.